Hello, Abiding Presence. It's Pastor Keasley coming to you from our sacristy. The sacristy is a small room off of the sanctuary. It's set up like a kitchen, and it's the place where we prepare Holy Communion. It's also the place where we prepare the ashes for Ash Wednesday. Now, usually it's our altar guild who's in here doing the work on behalf of all of us. But this year we've learned that we are all on the Altar Guild team, and today is no exception as we get ready to prepare our ashes at home. Now, I realize that we have done a lot of worship at home. You have learned how to turn your living room into a sanctuary. You've learned how to set the Lord's table in your midst. And today, we're going to learn how to make our own ashes. And it might seem a little strange. But I have to tell you, I've always thought what's actually strange is celebrating Ash Wednesday in the church and walking around with those ash crosses on our foreheads. Because the gospel text that is appointed for Ash Wednesday comes to us from Matthew, and we hear Jesus say things like, beware of practicing your piety before others. And finally, Jesus says, Whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray so everybody can see it. But instead, whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door. So you know this idea of celebrating Ash Wednesday at home, of making our ashes, placing them on our foreheads, and doing that in private, well, it has some merit to it. And while like all of you, I can't wait for the day when we are back in the sanctuary and do this together. This year, we're going to embrace this moment of Ash Wednesday, when once again, Jesus comes into our homes and into our lives. So let's make those ashes. So an Ash Wednesday, the ashes that we put on our forehead actually come from our palms from Palm Sunday. If you remember way back on Palm Sunday, we waved these palms and we shouted Hosanna to the King, Hosanna to the Son of David. We celebrated Jesus' triumphal entry into the city of Jerusalem. And we remember now on Ash Wednesday that our shouts of Hosanna with palms quickly on Good Friday turned into shouts of crucify him as Jesus was crucified. And so these palms are representations of our humanness, our sinfulness, our inability to get it right. And we have saved these palms all year long. We do every year. And so the palm that is in your Ash Wednesday at home bag is actually a palm from Palm Sunday. And if you would like, you can burn it at home yourself. I'm going to show you how. You need a couple quick things. You need your palm, you need a lighter, and you need some sort of metal tray to be able to burn it in safely. So let's take a look at how we can do that. Okay, now that we've got our supplies all set, let's get started. What you want to do is kind of crunch up your palm, get it in there, and then you're going to light it on fire. Now, it's really important to not use any kind of lighter fluid or things that would help it to catch on fire because after all, you are going to be putting this on your head. Take it and just, it'll take a moment for it to light, but you'll see right here it is. Be very careful as you do this. Of course, this is something you should have a grown-up doing at home. And you'll see that it starts to burn there. To make your ashes, you're gonna take a little bit of that palm that we just burned up outside and you're gonna crush it around on your fingers. You'll see it'll form a very fine dust. You can scoop it in if you want to the ashes that are already made and give it a little stir. Or you can simply just use these that are already made if you don't want to burn your own. And then you're going to take this olive oil and it only takes a very small drop. It's a bit of messy work to do. And you're going to drop that olive oil in there. Why do we do this? The olive oil reminds us of the oil that was used to anoint Jesus. 
And this oil mixes with the ash to remind us of the preparation for burial. And you'll see there with my finger, I'm just kind of scooting it all around, mixing it up just like you might mix cake or something like that. You don't want them to be too wet. And so you just kind of keep mixing and you're looking for a consistency about like that. Now that you have your ashes ready, you are ready for Ash Wednesday at home. You can join me on the live stream at seven o'clock where we will have a service of the imposition of ashes and Holy Communion, or you can use this Ash Wednesday at home liturgy at home at whatever time you would like. Or maybe just simply open your Bible, read some scripture and trace that ash cross on your forehead as a reminder that you are dust, and to dust you shall return, and you are a beloved child of God.